Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. I hope you love this uh, super cute headband that we're making today. today I'm going to teach you how to make a <clears throat> crocheted headband with a puff stitch. Now this headband you could really make any different colors, but today I'm feeling kind of a fall vibe, so I wanted to make a fall headband. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this chart right here. This is my crochet beanie hat chart, but um, I can use these inches also, the circumference here, to tell me how many inches I need um, to make the headband in. So this for, I'm going to make this for an adult small. So it's around 19 inches is what I'm going to need to make it. Although honestly I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because crochet does seem to stretch a little bit and I want it to be a little bit tighter. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start out with a chainless half double crochet. So I'm going to teach you how to make this chainless half double crochet. So I'm going to start here with just a normal slip knot. Oh, and I'm using a five millimeter hook and the yarn I'm using, actually I picked up with a bag full of yarn at an estate sale for super, super cheap. So um, the yarn I'm using, it didn't have a label on it, but I'm confident that I can use my five millimeter crochet hook and get the look that I want out of this. Um, but with that being said, I would, um, Definitely use what you got. So here, all I did was I made a slip knot. Now I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to chain two. I apologize that this might be a little bit difficult to see because of this yarn, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain one that I made. So right there, and I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull up a loop. So I've got one, two, three loops on my crochet hook here. I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to pull through one, and I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to pull through all three. And that is how you make your half double crochet chainless stitch. So now I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to go through not the first one, but that second one that I just made. So I'm going to go through that second um, half double crochet here that I just made. I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull through, I'm going to pull through one, then I'm going to pull through three. And I'm going to keep on going like that. So yarn over, go through the last half double crochet made, pull through one, so yarn over again, pull through one, then pull through three. And the reason I'm doing this stretch, stretch, stitch is because it's a stretchy stitch and I like that with a headband. So I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing right there. So you can see right here, I'm going to go into that stitch there, I'm going to just keep on going same thing just keep going and you can kind of see the difference let me show you the difference actually so this is your half double crochet right here and this is the stitch you're working into right here so it's just kind of a little bit to the left of that half double crochet so if I were to turn this over like this I can see my normal chain stitches on this side and then I could see what would normally be just my chain stitch right there. But since I'm doing this, the chain stitch for this is right here. And then the half double crochet is right here. So it's just kind of to the left of that a little bit right there. And um, again, it makes it stretchier and more pliable. And this is what I would always use when I'm working with clothing. Because we want clothing to be a little bit stretchy. And um, you just keep continuing to do this. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to use this stitch, you can just do um, a chain stitch for as many as you need. So for as long as you need, you could just do a chain stitch and then, um, and then uh, connect your chain stitch and then half double crochet all the way around it. But again, this is the way I prefer to do it. 
especially when I have um, when I'm doing something like this an outfit or something that is really good if it does stretch some I really like to do this stitch right here and this would make a really pretty beanie also maybe I'll come up with a beanie design that I think this would look cool in what do you think about that because I really am just loving this yarn and this yarn combination. It's been a hot summer, guys, and I am ready for fall. Texas is hot, dude. Especially this summer has been just crazy hot. So I'm going to do this for, I'm probably really going to do this for about 18 to 18 and a half inches instead of 19 again, because I want it um, to be, be just a bit snug so now I'm just continuing that half double crochet um, and I am measuring it every once in a while just to see how long it is um, and this is again this is a really really stretchy stitch here so it's okay if it's not quite as long as what I would like it, you know. It's okay if it's even 17 and a half, just so it stretches to that 18 and a half or so. If you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel so you can get some really fun videos um, like the one that you're seeing right now. And um, I don't know, I again, I know I've said I love this, but I really do love this yarn. So I may make something else fall out of it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think I should make out of it. Because I've got a huge amount left. So I don't know, like a fun beanie maybe? Or you guys got another idea? If you do, just, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to make um, something that you guys have an idea on. And right here, so I'm just now connecting with that first half double crochet that I made. So I'm going right into the top and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet that I made. And um, just insert your hook and you slip stitch right in there. And then after this, I'm going to change my yarn to the orange yarn and um, I'm going to show you how to do the puff stitch. You see here, I'm just going to slip stitch. And usually this is not how I change yarn, but I'm going to pull that all the way through. I would usually change yarn mid way there, but I want it to look a little bit different here. So now I'm just going to so just pull through the orange yarn. And from here, I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to start my puff stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go into that next stitch that's right there and I'm going to pull up a loop. Now I have three loops on my hook and I'm going to pull up to that double crochet size there. So I'm pulling up quite a lot. So then I'm going to go through the same one, yarn over, pull up another stitch and now I have five. I'm going to yarn over again, go through the same stitch, yarn over again, go through the same stitch, and now I should have nine is what I want to have on there. Now once I have nine loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all nine. And then I'm going to chain one to close that, and I'm going to repeat the same thing, and now I'm going to skip a stitch. So I'm going to skip one stitch, and then I'm going to go into the next stitch, and I'm going to yarn over and pull up a stitch, and so now I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull up, go through the same stitch that we did before, and pull up another stitch. So now I have five. I'm going to yarn over, go through that same one again, pull up another loop. Now I should have seven. And then I'm going to repeat that one more time. So I'm going to yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull up a loop, and now I should have nine loops. And then after this, I'm going to um, yarn over one more time, and then I'm going to pull through all nine loops. And then at the end, I'm going to do a chain one, and that closes that stitch. I'm going to repeat this all the way down. So you go into the, not the next, 
the second from the one you just did. So you skip one stitch when you do this, and then you just repeat that pattern over and over, and your end goal there is to have nine loops on your hook. And after you have nine loops on your hook, you're going to pull through, and then you're going to chain one. So that was my nine there, and I'm going to chain one now. And then I'm just going to repeat that all the way down. Skip a stitch, and then go into that next one. And then you want to pull up nine loops on your hook, and then you're going to chain that one and pull through all the loops on your hook and then chain one to close that stitch. So that chain one is really closing your stitch is what you're doing there. And then you're going to just repeat that over and over again. And if you want a more detailed video on how to do the puff stitch, I've got a more detailed video on my channel and I will link it in the description below for you. Um, that way you can follow along really easily with that. And you can see the difference too between, I, I do an 11 and I do a nine, a seven, a five, and a five. So I do all of those um, loops on the hook so you can see the difference that they make. I like going with a more loops on my hook, that way the stitch is puffier. So I chose not to do 11 because I thought that may be a little too much for this, but um, I thought nine would be the correct amount, the, what, the look that I was really, really looking for. And it does look really cool. And um, again, I love the fall vibes this is giving me. And after you finish this, what you're going to do after you finish all the way around and if you're off a stitch at the end if there's two stitches at the end that's okay or if you just do it in the very last stitch another puff in the very last stitch that's okay it doesn't have to equal out and be perfect you can't tell either way and then after that the what you're going to do is you're going to change yarn again and you're just going to half double crochet all the way around after we do this it's um it's really easy and this is a really really fun one to do and as you can see on the top of the screen there i did do um, a purple one before also and i thought that one was really fun especially for this past spring i did that one a while back and i do sell these at craft fairs also and they're pretty good sellers at the craft fairs so again i'm just repeating this all the way around i am pulling up going through skipping a stitch pulling up nine loops total so going through that same stitch and then I am looping over or yarning over and then I am pulling the yarn through all nine loops on my hook and then I'm just chaining one and then I'm moving on to the next which is again just skipping one stitch there and just doing that all the way around And you can see I'm almost at the end here, so I don't have much more to go. So now when I get all the way to the end there, I'm just going to slip stitch in the top of that first puff stitch made. So I'm just going, after I do my chain one, that is, I'm going to slip stitch in the top of that first puff stitch made. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to change colors back to my original color. Now here I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to just half double crochet all the way around. So I'm half double crocheting in the top of that first puff stitch and then I'm also half double crocheting in that chain space there. So half double crocheting in the top of that first puff stitch and then half double crocheting in the chain space. So you will have the same amount of half double crochets on the bottom as you do the top here. And then you just want to continue that all the way around. So just half double crochet in that chain space right there, and then half double crochet in the top of that puff stitch. And continue this sequence just all the way around and I sped it up quite a bit there and again if you need to pause this or anything just um, of course feel free to pause it I think you'll get this one pretty easily it's it's really really beginner friendly and it's just a really fun headband to work with 
And again, just continue that all the way around until you get to the end. And then when we do get to the end, what we're gonna do is we're just going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made. And um, then we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to weave in all of our ends. Now on this, I do like to weave in the ends and also tie them. I just think it holds it better. So here I'm just pulling that through and I'm going to turn it over because there are a lot of ends on this and I'm just going to weave this through a little bit. Each one, it can be a little bit time consuming, but it really doesn't take that long, honestly. And I'm just going to go on the loops on the back side there. And that first one is important, the one that the, at the very top, because it's a little bit loose on that top since we did the um, half double crochet chainless stitch. And so you're just going to go through, weave in all the ends and then tie them and then I, and then cut them off. And then after that, you are completely, completely finished there. And again, this is a great project and it's a great seller at the craft fairs too. It gives the headband just a little bit more interest than what we, you would normally see. And I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please let me know in the comments. And again, let me know in the comments if you um, have an idea of what else I can make with this super fun yarn. Because I am just, I'm loving it and I need ideas of what to make. So let me know and I'll film it. So again, just working on all these ends, just um, weaving them in and then cutting off the excess there and making sure that I've made a really good knot after I weave them in also. And this yarn, I really didn't weave it in, um, this other yarn, because I know that I can make a really strong knot there and it won't come out, but definitely the uh, the softer yarn, that yarn, I don't know if on the screen it looks soft, but it is super, super soft. So um, it's definitely, definitely needs to be weaved in. And also, I, I just get paranoid, so it needs to be a, I, I make a knot also. Some um, traditional crochets don't like making knots, but I do. And so I'm just continuing here, little weaving in, going back and forth over and over again. And then I'm going to just tie it off and then I'm gonna cut it and we are all finished. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel, pushing the like button, making a comment, and uh, ringing the bell to turn off notification to turn on notifications, guys. Um, thanks for watching again. Happy crocheting! I hope you have super fun making this.